We're here with Colin Miller, head coach FC Edmonton on day one of FC Edmonton's 2012 Winter Combine. Uh, the first first two hour sessions uh, over with now, Colin, how'd it go? Uh, I felt fine, but the players looked a little bit tired at the end of it. Uh, the attitude was great from the guys. Uh, we've identified one or two that have stood out in both games, so that's pleasing. Um, they, some lads have come in at different levels of fitness, uh, which is not always pleasing, but uh, it, it's a it's a testing surface, you know, it's a hard working surface and I'm very pleased with uh, some of the football that's been played and some of the guys have done well. You've been through these, uh, you know, numbers uh, of years, Colin, what, what are these guys going through? What, what kind of nerves are there? What kind of pressures, uh, you know, uh, do they put upon themselves in a situation like this? It's a horrendous situation, as you can imagine. There's, I believe, over 40 players here. And we've got a staff that are trying to identify that little gem that might stick out from the crowd. So it's very difficult from our point of view, for sure, uh, to try and identify these guys. But from their point of view, and I've gone through it myself as a player, having to go from Vancouver to Toronto with the blizzard many years ago. And you have to be better than the guys that are there. You have to do something different. You have to be that much quicker, stronger, whatever you have to be. If you're a front player, you have to finish consistently. A defender, you have to defend well. Midfield player, you've got to go box to box and keep your team in possession, these types of things. So so we're here with Alex Eby on the first day of uh, the 2012 Winter Combine. Tell us how the first 45 went so far. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I think we need to work the ball around a little bit better, uh, calm down a bit. I made a few mistakes myself, but it's not bad. Everything is good, though, you know, when you're just playing the first game, you're nervous, you know, yeah. all that. But as you're going, we'll be okay. It felt good. I uh, haven't been uh, been playing too much lately, but just trying to stay fit and running and stuff. So it's nice to get, uh, get a touch on the ball today. How much work is there on top of a combine? Well, I think that the more information you can get on a player, the more beneficial it is for us. Uh, some players come in and have sent DVDs. Some players have written a, a history of their, their career so far, which is great. Every little detail is going to help. I believe the players had to have played at a certain standard before they were actually invited into the combine. And I believe the majority have paid their own way to be here. So they're obviously keen and, and want to be a part of our club, which is great. It speaks volumes for their character already. Do you kind of take that same attitude to a combine situation? Are you either, um, helping other guys out, giving them advice, or are you focused fully on yourself? No, you gotta, because at the end of the day, you might look bad if you're if you're doing it, or trying to do it on your own. You know, where you're still a, you have a, a team of eight here, so you still have to try and help each other out, and uh, whatever knowledge you can ha I have to pass on to the other guys, I'll try and do that. Yeah, exactly. You know, we find a lot of good players around. You know, it's uh, really serious. You know. And um, most, of, most cases when you go to trials, you're, 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 you're alone, you know, but now we're many, you know, so you have to do a lot of work, you know. Uh, I think the most important thing is to get used to your teammates, the way they play, because everyone wants to show what they can do here, you know, they want to impress all the staff here, but um, it's most important just get used to the teammates, get used to each other playing, so. At the end of the day, it all comes down to uh, what they do on the field what they do on the field, that this doesn't lie here. These games, small sided game situations don't lie. Ideally, it would be great to get on a full size pitch, you know, and uh, see what their awareness is like, because there's a, an element of falseness in an eight aside, uh, eight V eight game, you know, distances and so on and so forth. But um, <clears throat> they, they've done well this morning. I've been pleased with their attitude and they've worked hard. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for this call and good luck for the rest of the yeah, week. Thank you very much.